I'm Alex Berzo, and I have a PhD in microbiology. In second grade, I remember getting a chemistry set, and I just mixed chemicals together, and I would you know, follow the instructions because I think some of them were actually sort of dangerous. This is back when chemistry sets used to be really fun, right? And they put dangerous chemicals in them. And I, uh, I fell in love with chemistry at that time. We had to fill out this worksheet about what you wanted to be when you grew up. We put it into a time capsule. We dug it up several years later when we were in high school and I saw that I wrote down in second grade I wanted to be a scientist. And uh, as it so happened, that's what I did. I. Uh, started my career uh, in Illinois and did my bachelor's degree there, came to Seattle, did my PhD there, and decided that I really did not like sitting in the laboratory and watching my experiments fail. So I became a journalist. As a senior fellow of biomedical science, I tend to cover biology and epidemiology and health, and I also do my fair share of debunking of organic food and anti-vaccine myths and other anti-chemical myths. And so uh, it's a mix of biomed and debunkery is what I like to do. There's a famous study that came out that showed that coffee caused pancreatic cancer. And it wasn't true because the authors did not control for smoking. And they showed that people who smoked also tend to drink coffee. It was the smoking that caused pancreatic cancer, not the coffee. And so bringing this to the public's attention, that science research is complicated, that epidemiology research is complicated. Learning that links do not necessarily mean causation, that association is not necessarily causation, is something that I think that the council can help uh, elaborate. A lot of people put a lot of stock into what celebrities say and what politicians say, and they have people that they look up to, and no matter what topic they speak on, they see them as an authority even though they actually are not. And the truth is is that science and health are complicated topics. And we have to have trusted guides walk people through the literature and through what the best science says and most journalism outlets simply cannot or won't do it. And I think organizations like the, the council are here to help inform the public about how to think properly about complicated issues.